What's up guys, this is the Rifeman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Great Britain. So to pick up where we left off, we are about to strike a mighty blow right into the heart of the new Spanish Empire by taking their capital Mexico and all of her wonderful bounty of mines. So that resources will join the British Empire and will help bring down her former, or her current, colonial master. But first we have to take the city, which should not be a problem. We'll be rushing in hard and fast with because we've got mortars uh, ready to take us out. We do have native warrior um, auxiliary, but we also have our pikemen. So let's fight them and conquer the city. We will have to build a church school uh, to be ready to try and not just convert this region, but also most of Latin America, because they do have uh, a lot of Catholic a lot of Catholics in Latin America. <laughs> Who'd have thought it? Uh, most of the time, the religious problems aren't really that significant. You don't really have to do, a, you don't really have to do that much. Um, to be honest, you can you could almost completely ignore it, really, in Empire. Um, I've started to do it a bit more often with the Regiment von Losberg. I've started to do it a bit more often now because I think it adds a bit of a role play almost because it kind of it's the kind of thing that your uh, characters your uh, armies and you know it's the sort of thing they would do they wouldn't just go oh they follow a different religion oh dear there will be all sorts of people showing up like that crackpot in Zulu that comes up and just spoils everyone's day talking about God uh, don't know, personally have anything against God but you know, in the film he he's he is not a positive influence so I've got a formation up on the hill well, they're going to charge us. Well, that they're going to stay where they are, but this these guys are going to run up. You guys get in. Colonial Lights. Get up there quickly. Ah, oh, okay, they're going to hit the 8th on the charge, are they? In which case, then these guys plus these two units. Abandon that skullduggery push up. Yeah, there we go. So this is the 8th Regiment. First light horse, go in and hit those Sakers. Right. I do have a Colonial unit on the flank to watch out for. The Colonial Lights are going to be out for the count very soon. Here, another charge. Mm, there's no one around to do it. Still, my cavalry's gonna get around. Aha, uh -huh, their mortar crews are hidden in there. Okay, bring our cavalry back. Same with this infantry unit. Let's hope my uh, skirmishers can get some pot shots off against the colonial cavalry, because they are intending to be up. They're intending to uh, be up to mischief. Oh, okay, there's a, there's a handful of rangers outside this building. That's why they're pushing. They're not pushing to kill the rangers because, you know, they're inside. Okay, you guys take the high ground. Oh, they, might, they all might have to take the high ground. Okay, you guys go up here and reserve. These guys are going, going to go fire at will and run. So you men push up into the main bulk of their force. Yeah, my cavalry instead of their cavalry. You guys can ignore them pretty well. I mean, my gun isn't well. Has been firing a bit sporadically. The Eighth Regiment push up. What the uh, Hessian Lion are going to be pushing up around the flank. The Von Losbergs are. They're going to be. They're in a reserve at the minute. Move my pikes up. Get my regiment of horse and my general further out on the flank. These guys are going to have some uh, killing to do. This is the 33rd Foot, the 21st Regiment, and the 22nd Regiment. Ah, 
sound shenanigans. Sometimes that might be sporadic. Well, wow. so I can hear some of the. It's, it's weird. There are times the when the battle sounds don't work. There's usually a lot of triggers, in that that like, chung, like attack sound doesn't work, and a few other things stop functioning. You guys push up. So the native war auxiliary has made it to the line, so my pikemen are going to attempt to fight them off. 33rd foot are not taking this very well. Well, they are well, I mean, they are taking it well, they're just not standing for it. Let's get our gunners to engage the colonial line. To be honest, these guys are all not doing a whole lot here. Push through the village. My cavalry's can deal with the uh, gunners. Everyone's been chased off. You guys chase down the armed citizenry. Yeah, it's the darnest thing why that happens. Oh god. The colonial line of all. They have not taken it very well. Some native warrior auxiliary hoping to try and take positions up there instead, but it looks like they might be going to charge. Okay, you guys form square, because the cavalry's come back, because of course it has. So those armed citizenry are not going to be around for very long. You men push up, push right up into their face. Pikes are behind them. I keep my gunners firing on the centre. So this is going to be a very ragged formation. Chiefly because there's not A, there's not a lot of room, and B, eh, just get my units in there. Let's spread the casualties around a bit. But some native war auxiliary are hitting the 5th regiment of foot. 41st regiment are now in position. But I doubt they will be around for too long. So you're reloading. Let's get my pikes out onto the flank. To be honest, I could probably put these guys out on the flank as well. My general of horse, chase down the general's bodyguard. My body my general's bodyguard get out of the way. They're routing. They should have fired their volleys off. Good. So they can reload. Okay, we might have to push up to make sure we can get in and support our brethren on the other flank. So you men both try and knock out file of calm citizenry. You guys all try and run through. You guys actually fight. Because trouble is sometimes well when they charge they're not you're not actually the unit doesn't have an actual attack order, so sometimes they just kind of stand around and don't do very much on a wide front. Whereas when you get them to attack, all men suddenly shuffle to a position where they can actually do some damage. So let's get these men from the hill running to try and charge into the rear. We do have a garrison and militia unit that's fighting our flanking force. Oh yeah, you guys back here. Yeah, you did see off those cavalry. Will the 33rd Regiment even get to hit this unit? No, they won't. Okay, let's set up. The 1st Regiment and the 16th load and fire to engage the 3rd Regiment of Militia. The General's finally been killed. They, have, they lack bayonets. Huzzah! There we go. That is the city, what's Mexico City, secured. And her mighty wealth now joins the British Empire. 7,000 already. She's growing pretty quick. 68. So where does she fit in our current... In our current... Uh, uh, hierarchy. 
um, New Spain, Mexico is down. Well, it's our fifth largest region. Bigger than well, Cherokee territory is pretty good. Bigger than Quebec. But yeah, it's still the home territories plus Königsberg plus New um, New Spain. But New Spain's growing at 68 a turn. Compare that to Dublin. Dublin's growing at 88 per turn. Scotland's growing at 88. Growing in Königsberg is 84. It's probably a Rhodes thing. Yeah. We're going at 116. Well, you're not catching up with London then. London's out of out of bounds. Let's actually quickly check. Okay. Cambridge is researching diamond formation. Not interested. You will instead go for free trade doctrine. Let's get that started. Because an Oxford can pick up something after completing um, secular humanism. New Haven. That's the kind of tech that I'd have New Haven research. It's a... Actually, I might do it now, to be honest. It's a catch-all lower tier tech that I don't want to spend um, the time sending my big universities to research. So we're still blockading Spain. We've got one force down here at Tangier. The Ottomans are sniffing around nearby, so you have to be careful. Um, Tangier could do with reinforcements, fundamentally, because we've got Spain down here being frustrating. Let's destroy this dockyard, because all they're going to do is break it. And then let's drop, put that into some um, so, some reinforcements from, from London. So let's get that into... See, because you've already got a general. I don't want to disband you, George Wade, no. But I would like to get a Field Marshal of Europe and a Grand Field Marshal of the Army. I only have one, so it needs to be a pretty cool army. Um, okay, let's get some... some Swiss line will go down there to help reinforce them. I don't think there's anything else that needs doing drastically. You could... Well, you're going to be destroyed because you're a shipyard. Well, a shipyard that can become a dockyard, but we've already got a dockyard over here, so we, we don't need two. Hmm. Minsk needs to be defended while we build the fort. The militia will end up being the garrison, while this army ends up marching east towards Moscow. Um, because the Ottomans are sniffing around Morocco, I don't want Kiev. I want to maintain that as a... I, don't, I want to keep away our borders from the Ottoman Empire, at least until we've got a bit more control over Spain. And then we can fire troops east against their holdings in um, Italy as well as fight the Barbary States. We are recruiting troops in Tangier to try and provide some immediate assistance. And we're also holding on to the Strait of Gibraltar for now with a large fleet. So uh, I would very much like... I would very much like to uh, bolster that in our presence there. Obviously our, our agent in Antigua is uh, terrible, so he's just a spy. Yeah, it was inevitable that Spain was going to throw us out of their ports, and that might cause havoc. Yeah, they are deploying lots of troops towards Gibraltar. Because I've got that fleet in position, I'd see this screams to me like it's the AI is there going, should I attack? Should I betray them? So why I'm scared of the Ottomans is that they are allies with Prussia, and so when it comes down to it, when push comes to shove and Prussia declares on us, the Ottomans may go, aha, if we back our German allies... As usual, typical, uh, somewhat predating the formation of the central powers here, although that's kind of what we've got-ish. Uh, they might see that as an opportunity to grab uh, my territory in North Africa, which I don't want to give them. See, New Spain has realised the jig is up, so their ships have left their port, the... Uh, the gentleman is pulling south because he, yeah, he's probably going to wait and find somewhere to try and build a uh, to try build a, a school. Yeah, you're raiding more than welcome. George has been destroyed. Goodbye. The Ottomans. Okay, let's hope they fight the Russians. New port emerges. Providence. So let's build a trading port. 
this fifth ray, get the fifth ray over to Providence. So I could I could build a, a military shipyard, but I've already got one in Cuba, which is doing a good job. Could fight this Russian navy, but they're not doing anything. Go with Cuba. Secular humanism straight on to abolition of slavery, which is good. We don't have any military technologies to research that are super important yet. You are getting metal roads. Okay, you need a sloop. Okay, okay. First of all, New Mexico. Let's rebuild what we got. Where's their... Do, well, do they have a school, actually? That's a good question. Series of farms with basic roads. You guys build a sloop. So let's pump some mine upgrades here because New Mexico does grow quite quick you can replenish you Roland Nordell recruit general get within range of the Pueblo nations but don't attack because a lot of warrior societies let's get our agent in there and let's set you ah oh, they shot him I suppose he does stand out a bit. The fifth Northumberland Fusiliers. Might have to get those from for another army. So it'll take them eight turns to get here. Seven turns from the American mercenaries. Let's get unit of colonial line to start marching their way down here. I don't think there are any economy upgrades I can get for four hundred. Well, Horace Davison can continue to push towards these chaps here and then on towards Bogota. Keep pushing against the new, Spa new Spaniards. Got a bunch of new troops down here, which is great news. We can't really push them against anyone yet. Tangier, well, next turn could do with fortifications. So let's hit end turn. United Provinces of ooh, they are they going to go after Iceland? See, they can't cross the Strait because our fleet controls the Strait of Gibraltar, which is great because you can see they're coming at us uh, with a lot of troops. And it makes me wonder: is it worth making peace with Russia because I've got the territory gains I was after? So I don't have to overextend. And taking Moscow would be good, but it would leave me with quite a big bulge into Russian territory. So I think it would probably be best if I could make peace with Russia. Then I could focus on trying to knock out Spain, because Spain's just thrown three or four stacks into the mix near Gibraltar. Granted, they can't do anything. But they've concentrated a lot of forces in the region. I don't want to waste my time with it, really. Okay, so diplomacy, 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 Russia, peace. I mean, they didn't like it. <laughs> Quite a satisfactory end to our talks. We do then have to also worry about Sweden in the long run. Um, but, ignore this for now. So, we've got a good... So, if someone asked in one of my other, one of my other videos, why do I re keep recruiting um, third rates when I can get first rates? And it's just historical accuracy. Um, not that I'm bothered, not that I'm overly bothered about being historical accurate, historically accurate, but first rate ships of the line are hella expensive. And I wasn't I don't just want to have doom stacks of first rates. Uh, see, they're not. I can't. That's not a catch all. Because that Spanish army down here actually is irregulars. But we can deploy. Get you guys in. 
This Swiss contingent can join Crispin Brown. These sloops. Well, God, no one. There's no one in Bristol. That's dangerous. Um, okay, let's let's recruit some two units of heavy cavalry and. Maybe Swiss Pikes, but that might be a bit much. Brunswick and Dragoons might be pretty... No. Eh, yeah. Special cover unit. Let's do it. Um, hmm. Get a couple of Grenadiers. Let's recruit. Let's build, upgrade the ports in England and Scotland. We don't need to worry about upgrading the happiness building just yet. We could upgrade... Well, we could in the future upgrade to Somerset House, which would be, would be a good idea, but I want to get the Royal Observatory up to the Royal Academy to get that increase in tech research rate, because right now we are burning through tech. And then we've got enough cash to make sure you guys are fully replenished. Let's upgrade this port. Uh, actually, maybe let's recruit a couple of units of militia because we're going to want to move our army south. Let's get our spy to infiltrate down towards Panama. You're going to hold position. Oh, we, did we not ever repair the New Mexico building? <laughs> well, we have now. And they're upgrading El Paso. We need to get them basic roads as well. Okay. In terms of building, Cuba got a main... Got a commercial basin. And Edinburgh got Cannon Foundry. Edinburgh, what I particularly want them to get is a drill school and better to get more infantry types. Because there we go, got the independent Scottish independent Highlander independent regiment. And at some point, I'm pretty sure we do get. Well, we get Coldstream Guards and so on. But we also get other more unique Scottish units. Okay, there we go. Yeah, so everyone's, everyone's garrisoned. 23,000, so we're keeping our um, economy growth and our military growth pretty pretty level. We're expanding our forces and at the same time, yeah, stay away. Good. <laughs> okay, so I need to raid their ports again because they'll have, the Spain will have repaired their ports. Now that we are at peace, Russia, you can... Yes. Leave us alone. Continue to be a... Um, continue to be a bulwark against the uh, the Ottomans. Another Maratha army. Which I can't really forget about. I need to push on and take that coffee, house, coffee warehouse as well. I have not been... Focusing on the southern front as much as I should be. Yeah, the, yeah. <laughs> rebels there go, but we can't attack. Why not? It's because we've got loads of guys there. So a new town emerging, Brest Litovsk. Craft workshop. Let's upgrade you to a college of divinity. Lots of farm upgrades, which is great. So if I take Elias Hasker and march them out of Spain. Understandably they're really unhappy about that. What if we do that? Minus two. We exempt you from tax for a turn and actually I should have should have built Dragoons because you guys have told me about Dragoons to help press the population. I need to remember that I've done that as well. But you guys march down towards the border. Let's keep the plantations upgraded because I want to well the port will end up being maxed out well yeah it will be because it's only a it's only a level a tier one port we have more yeah oh I thought it crashed for a minute there we go let's re-engage these ports because they've mostly got them well they've repaired them but if I break them and then leave it looks like they didn't do anything Okay, good. We can upgrade 
some buildings inside the town. And it looks like it's definitely... We've confirmed they can't. They're not going to hit us. So if I take... One of the sloops. The Sloop Defiance. You men pick up... This detachment of troops. Sail them down to Casabranca. Any orders? Instead of marching them up to Gibraltar, take this army down to Casabranca. I mean, this is very cavalry heavy army now. That's five units of cav. Two heavies, three lights. They will position to go squash this force, then chase down the rebels, while you guys continue to build a bit of a core of reinforcements. And then go back to Portsmouth, let's pick up a drill school, and let's also pick up a field marshal of Europe, because we want to create another army to maybe land and hit somewhere like Lisbon, especially if they're going to leave the rest of the si the rest of their territory open could probably do with building some more ships as well election results okay let's check our ministers they're all four stars they're all not bad plus one management and plus one happiness so he's pretty good just revolutionary plus one treasury plus one navy plus one management so for the navy, he'd actually be five. So what's the navy like? Plus one treasury. Um, but is it better to have reduced naval costs and increased naval tech research rate or tax and reduction in upkeep in the Americas? Because this guy is better here. But Eugene Hale in the Americas would be pants. So do I boot him out, shift him across? Like that. Where he is great. He's pretty good. Gabriel Simpson is just... He's, he's fine. And this guy's fine. Although he actually gets... Nuts. So he's... Hmm. Okay, I'm going to keep it like this. Because this guy gets us these bonuses for... Uh, tax income and upkeep. And this guy, Eugene Hale, does have a naval architect. Which also provides some naval bonuses. in a, Alongside his like four-star attribute level. So he does also provide some up, some bonuses there. Not looking to min max. That's fine for me. So down here at the Americas, you men march on, attack the plantation, force them out. Because we need to keep pushing towards Bogota and knock out the new Spaniards. And then one of these armies needs to uh, methodically knock out the uh, the Black Hills people and the. Uh, the Inuit to the north and then they will sail over and join their forces in Europe or they might form the springboard to land against the Marathas so you guys stay back there and defend let's create an almighty line and human wave this you guys can stay back because we're going to be a bit too offensive Okay, so. Human wave this. Push up. Speed up time. Let my artillery just do the shooting. Um, chiefly because we haven't got no cavalry. We have no we have no maneuver element. Lots of their men seem to be well a good chunk of them seem to be dug in on the uh, on the walls. Let's run our men up. I'm only speeding it up just because there's not. Not a lot to do, and in, in rain, I always find the battles are just that much more pants. Okay, so you guys are going to push the flank. You guys push right up into their faces. You guys push up around this flank. Because I mean, you also need to clear out this unit of militia behind the wall. So you need to push around the flank and turf them out. They will get the first shots off, and that's okay. Let's focus our artillery on those infantry. Let's just speed up time to let them get into position. So 
So despite the fact that the sound's again buggering up, we're going to mow down the second regiment of militia. Actually, it looks like demi cannons of the Mount Tribal Auxiliary are already. Yeah, they've had enough. We've got our first foot guard marines. The Scottish line infantry look great. I'm really for a unit that's not really in game. I think it, I'm pretty sure it's just the black what black watch skin. But I think it looks pretty neat. Yeah, they're manoeuvring to try and stop the danger or reduce it somehow. But they're not. It's not going to work. The unit that was defending has now pushed out, which means that the Hessian line can engage them. So let's take all this infantry and stretch them out even more and get them up close where the killing power of their muskets is that much more magnified. The colonial pikemen in their splendid white coats is not going to help them one iota. Hello, what's this? Oh god! <laughs> Native Aura Auxiliary. At least my colonial line's pretty good now. Holy smokes. So my artillery bombard... Can't bombard them. You men, even though you don't have sound, you have the world's most silent muskets. You need to open up. Because... <laughs> they're going to get you. Okay, and what I also need to do is then go, okay, pivot, pivot my flanks, get men up. It's the Billy Bowman, the native musketman auxiliary. So all my, all my elites are on the left flank. So you men engage the native troops yourselves. Same with you. Hit the native war auxiliary. You guys chase down the native musketman auxiliary. You guys charge into the musketmen. These militia charge into the tribal auxiliary. Same with you guys. Scottish line charge in. So it's like you've been, you're going to get caught on the hop. So push in and engage the enemy melee combat. This Scottish line focus on the general's bodyguard. Looks like we've got them on the run. My native factions have fallen. You also drive south. You shattered. You chase down those native warriors. Militia aren't that great but they're surrounding a cavalry unit. And there's loads of them, so even though the cavalry are doing a good amount of damage, my militia will eventually win. Okay, so who's that? Okay, you guys then turn and pivot to face that militia unit, because everyone else is going to break. You bayonet charge the general's bodyguard. Native musketmen will fall. Because they are only, well, they're skirmishers, so they don't have the stats to to stick around in melee combat, not for too long. Because see, unlike other factions, they're not, they're not... Oh, that guy's using a hatchet. Oh, that might be the warrior auxiliary. Because the muskemen don't have a close combat weapon, so they do perform uh, worse than... They do perform worse than other... Um, other native units. So everyone, you. When your pikemen are still in formation, so let's get my gunners to bombard the colonial militia. You guys are charging the native musketman auxiliary. Let's run this militia unit up. Tr try and engage the general's bodyguard. You're going to hit the colonial militia in the rear as well. So we're going to take more casualties than we would like in the name of victory here. So you guys are actually going to do this. So they're not charging, they're just running. So if I peel back, that should help. 
General's aware of what's happening. I might just get my guns to keep picking on him. So the chant that so the goal was could these guys, if they'd run and turn I said turn, fellas. Counter charge. It's the only way. No, oh, ignore the general. The native warrior factions are actually coming back. No, don't charge the native warrior auxiliary all by yourself. Instead, you fall back. You hit the pikemen in the rear. You guys charge the colonial militia because the pikemen are not long for this world. You guys actually charge into the militia. These two units take out the general. So you're broken from bow fire? Bow fire. Well, there's one bow unit back there. You men assemble. Counter charge the native war auxiliary. You guys also get stuck in. So what's going to happen is they're going to charge my militia, and that's not going to be great. You're going to must bayonet charge the Bowman native Bowman auxiliary. This entire flank's folded. So let's get everyone involved. One volley of militia fire was enough to see to cause them to rout. In which case, then all of you fellows go after the native bowman auxiliary because they're the last units on the map they're not very happy about the way things are going and they have broken that should be everyone the gunners at the back are still having a good time but there we go heroic victory and the bugged rainy battle is over and we didn't lose many men and they actually lost juan juan diaz is gone Troops, so What's the damage? A lot. Okay, let's repair the plantation instead. Puerto Cabello, it's going to take a long time for you to actually grow. So you need to get road upgrades built. Let's upgrade this farm. Is that the only farm in the region? I think it is. Okay, done all this stuff. The army of Mexico is marching. Everyone's on the way. Hit and turn. The build up at Villa de Berra is. We have time. Ooh! Our province has deployed that to fight against Germany. Could be quite interesting to see what they do there, because there's a chance that they've uh, they might hit Berlin and cause the Prussians to pull troops away from my front and go west, which means. Should the Ottomans attempt to declare war on us, then uh, they will find that their ally might actually have bigger fish to fry. Yeah, Russian fleet's being recalled. They could well attack me again. Um, that's if, if they do, that is in, that is up to them. But then, if they do, it will be the end of their faction. The small armies march right up to my doorstep. Very well. That will, they will be the that will be the first unit to be destroyed. Although I suspect the uh, well, the rebels might have something to say about this end turn phase. Yeah, break it if you like. Uh, every turn you wait, even though the even though the rebels still exist, uh, Morocco likes us now. So and it's only going to get better. So Spain, New Mexico, New New yeah. South America. Horace Davison hit Frederico Gales with his leftovers, knock him out. So you men replenish and march up to the border, so we can expand the coffee building. 
Ooh. Prussia. Oh, the Prussia's getting blockaded by the United Provinces. Bad United Provinces. Okay, so again, we need to be careful with the trade upgrades and start to look at tax upgrades. Which really means government buildings across the board. Starting from up high. Although you've not got very good upgrades in general either. Let's get your fair market on the go. So Dagest <gasps> Dagestan's been destroyed. Interesting. That means we can focus on the Native American factions without being dragged into loads of silly little wars. Okay, so Hartford's discovered, has worked out what uh, diamond formation is. So New Haven can sit on researching copper bottoms. In terms of up buildings, you can't really do anything. We've upgraded the port here at Ingria. It would be nice to have a bit more strength behind it, but there we are. To have something to occupy. So Prussia is being converted, but doesn't have a church school, so you do have to stay there. You men are going to march south, and we're going to hit the Spanish in this port. So we can take them out, clear the rebels out, and this will be an, a force that will be standing uh, looking east to protect against a invasion by the Barbary states. Or, thinking of it in a different way, they are going to be um, positioned to strike straight at, straight at them. Let's put the native infantry in the centre because they are less sturdy and have them flanked by my elites. So Brunswick and Dragoons got destroyed, didn't they? So, heavy cavalry and light. Okay, you sit in the middle, fire it off. Oh, here are our Brunswick and Dragoons. Pretty good. They've got they're modelled with carbines, but I've got a feeling it's Darth Mod that's decided to make that not be a thing. Although actually, where's my okay? This wing it's right into the centre. Maintain our overall configuration with our native infantry in the centre and our elites are on the flanks because they're a bit more capable. There we go, let's hit their colonial dragoons with our... Actually our infantry can, can walk, or this flank can. There we go, then you also join them. Got a desert warrior, right unit right at the back. So let's trundle my cavalry up. Wavering? My heavy cavalry is wavering. It must be a canister shot. Because they're dragoons. And they've lost a bunch. Actually, you guys are probably going to do this. That's exactly what I wanted to see. So then, you men push up, cavalry unit, nail it, aw not away, but not straight into them. You guys charge the desert warriors, because otherwise they're going to get some shots off. Colonial dragoons are charging our. Well, they're going to charge our line somewhere, or are they going after our cavalry? Well, either way, they're about to get shot at. Come on, 80th Regiment. Okay, so Heavy Cavalry, get over here. Brunswick and Dragoons, get over here. Light Cavalry, chase them down.
Because right now, there are a bunch of uh, irregular units and native infantry. Native infantry just isn't that good, and they also can't form square formation. So they need to be in the centre to be able to provide that that um, support. There is a spike unit, there is a set of spikes here, but I'm hoping I can keep my... Those, those are Dragoons, and those are the Dragoons. Ceasefire. Let my cavalry ride in from the rear. Actually, my light cavalry carry on, heavy cavalry. Get the Amazons. Well, there we go. These guys are not a fire anymore. We're going to continue. Everyone has their orders, so... And this is going to be messy and awkward because of how they've chosen to route. They've chosen to route through um, a town, which means they're all strung out. I mean, I'm, my captain died, not my general. Thankfully. I'm not quite sure how. Does someone shoot at it? You charge down the Seeker unit. You charge down those guys. I think this will, this is the last unit left on the board. Come on. There we go. Well, I don't necessarily... Well, I suppose it is her it's heroic from the perspective of the British, but it's not really a heroic battle. Yeah, see, that's what I didn't want to happen, but there we are. Do a bit of replenishment, chase them down, get my ship into port. There we go, they can take them, take them out, march east, clear out the rebels, or the force that's being recruited here might even do that. Cool, let's hit in turn. My, my spy might march straight on towards Panama, because for whatever reason he's taken the long way around and uh, has avoided the... Uh, is not going to make it to the city of Antigua before my army gets there. So the United Provinces fleet is pretty battered outside Berlin, so it looks like they must have landed their troops and been repulsed. The Russians are sending troops south, so obviously they are not happy with the progress the Ottomans have been making. Hanover again is marching forward to try and raid the United Provinces, as is Württemberg. Yeah. I was going to say, all that stuff's already broken. Spy in East Persia. Okay, might get you to Breslau to keep get a bit more visibility behind their the Prussian lines. Lots of farm upgrades. Good economy building upgrades. Because you've all we we can now see the damage that relying on trade alone can do. So you guys are replenishing March straight onto the city. A spy, yeah, straight on to Panama. Visibility on Elyasi, Minsk. I mean, it is a bit unfortunate to have these troops sat here not doing anything, but again, I don't want to leave, I don't want to sail them away because they are useful where they are. Actually, first of all, focus on. The home territories when it comes to upgrades. Well done, Glasgow, you get a port. Because we are getting an absolute bucket load of tax out of London. Ooh, Königsberg's close, but behind Königsberg is almost being overtaken by, Dub by um, Dublin. Despite having like a fifth of the population. Um... So, Paris still burns, which is nice. Yeah, the Spanish can't cross. We will have to push. Well, once we're ready. Well, once we're ready, we need to blockade this fleet. 
in port, which I'll probably do with this ship, set of ships up here. Uh, build a fourth with the last remaining money. Yeah, New Mexico, you should start booming. Yeah, 97. And we can tax you now. Well, actually, yeah, without without when you're being taxed, yeah. And Campiche. Campiche, Campiche, Campiche. Well, it's got to be Campiche. It's not going to be Capiche, right? I mean, I've done a terrible job. I found Villa Hermos and Monterey. Tampico. Or Campeche. That could well be it. But that's a lot of towns, Mexico. You need to grow rapidly. Let's hit end turn. Ah, yes. Spanish rebels. Well, not the Spanish rebels. Just the Spanish. You don't need to have rebels to fight. Oh, God. Did they win? Looks like they did. So the United Provinces feel a bit vulnerable. Whereas everyone else, things are actually going quite swimmingly. Russia's continuing their efforts to try and steal technology. Here come the Marathas again. I, I, I keep saying, I better not forget about the Marathas. I don't get where they're going. I mean, I'm going to water resolve that. You think you can fight the little army and that gets you out of it? I don't think so. <laughs> Silly rebels. I mean, yeah, these guys did get hammered as a result, but whatever. New town emerges. Bathurst and Acadia. Build a sloop, build a port, upgrade your weaver's cottage, upgrade your port, actually no, home territories first, Ireland, you get government chambers, you get commercial port, and you get an upgraded farm, because we haven't yet got to the point where we can upgrade other stuff, so the military academy, this is where we can get Royal Highland Grenadiers. There we go. That's what we want. So there's the Scottish Highlander Independent Regiment. Where's my... Sir William Pepperell, Field Marshal of Europe. Let's build an army for him. So he's going to have a unit of the lifeguards. He's going to have a unit of heavy cavalry. And a regiment of horse. He's going to be backed up by two 24-pounder heavy guard artillery. And that's going to be it. Because we're not going to have any money. Which we've got 700. Can't afford a lot of stuff there. That'll do. That'd be quite an expensive army to build. Some good upgrades. Some good balance, a good balance with economy and military. You then march on to Antigua, you guys, you march on to Panama. You're not actually converting anyone because you're rubbish. So you can march on to Bogota. Once we've taken it, once we've taken what we need, he is going to be shipped over to Europe. Because he is terrible. One star missionary. Who, he's gone native, so he's not bothered about trying to find converts in the Americas, and he just he hates the Americas. Nasty, brutish, and American. This man who uses American is a swear word. Can't beat God. Can't bet you. Uh. Fishery is technically a good option, because it means we think the towns grow quicker, but at the same time we don't... 18 turns till the next town to be grown is pretty quick. So I'd rather build it as a trade port and get the extra cash. It's not needed for directly exporting any goods, but it's will be useful to uh, to help support our growing forces. I mean, if it was called comp compete, that sounds very much like a uh, you know gangster term. Yeah, I'm gonna build a I'm gonna build a village on the coast of Mexico, capiche? 
Hey, that's not a bad name. Hanover's digging in. If Hanover took over the Netherlands, that'd be great. Blah. We are triumphant. <laughs> Back you go. So that is... There's no point in fighting it. So you guys need to go, to go another round of punishment. You, Andrew Hardy, go straight to the east. Look for a punishment. Upgrade you to a trade port. Go over to Campeche. Which probably isn't even right. Go to Sloop. Mexico is 87. Still pretty quick. Growth wise. Good. Coffee Warehouse. Horace Davidson can push on to Bogota. Build some infantry in uh, Caracas just in case. Okay, let's upgrade the spice plantation. Probably doesn't need a, a new uh, port upgrade yet. But then again, port upgrades are good. Let's get a port upgrade and let's upgrade the sugar warehouse because they can export via Cayenne. There we go, the new, the new army is rising. So two heavy batteries. We can't get the heaviest of howitzers yet, but 12 pounders will do. I want to get two... Hmm. I definitely want Scottish Highlander Independent Regiment, so let's get some of those. Well, they can only get three. Ah, oh, pity. Let's get three of those, and then let's get a unit of Scottish line. George Wade is improving in skills. Lots of hidden spy activities. So why couldn't I recruit? Oh, it's because you literally ran out. Okay. That's fine. And I'm not so bothered about maxing out the recruitment side of things. Cagliari would be nice to take as well, because that would be a very useful diving board onto Europe. To be honest, that might be where you go, Andrew Hardy. So let's build a church school here. Upgrade you to a craft workshop. Upgrade the present. Repair the peasant farm. The mine and this farm. Good stuff. So... You guys can end turn. Yeah, we're going to attack Antigua. We're looking at the timer because we're pretty damn close to being an hour. I think that would probably be a good time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. I will see you next time for the, the uh, seizure of another new Spanish city in Central America. Cheers, everyone. <laughs>